Good morning today, friends. It's good to see you and have you join us today. We're gonna to begin our circle with calendar. Can you remind us of our month? April. April. Now, yesterday was Wednesday. What day comes after Wednesday? Thursday. Let's find it. Thursday. And what sound does Thursday start with? Thursday. Yesterday was the 15th or 15. What number comes after 15? 16. Let's make it. We have our one, but we need a six. Hmm. Six. One, six, make 16. And for our date, we'll say the 16th. Now, can you remind us of our year? 2020. Thank you, friends. All right, let's put that all together and say today's date. Today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Thank you, friends. Now let's go check the weather. All right, let's take this time to step outside or look out the window and tell us what you see for the weather today. Is it cloudy, sunny, maybe it's a little breezy, a little warm perhaps? Let us know. Thank you, friends, for checking on the weather for us today. Now, we're gonna head on to our book. Today, we're gonna continue learning a little bit about the country of Australia in the continent of Oceania. Today's book is called Australian Wildlife and Flower, Nature at Its Best. Australia, long separated from the rest of the world's land masses, is a country rich in wildlife and flowers, which includes some of the world's unique species. With a climate ranging from tropical rainforest to arid desert, Australia is home to 120 species of native marsupials, 700 species of native birds, 500 varieties of reptiles, and countless thousands of native plants and wildflowers. The most notable marsupials are the kangaroos and wallabies, the koalas, wombats, and possums. Monotremes, furry animals which lay eggs, are represented by Australia's unique platypus and the spiny anteater. Prominent amongst the native birds are the colorful parrots, the land-bound emu, and the laughing kookaburra, whose ruckus laugh has long typified the Australian bush. Reptiles abound throughout the continent. Snakes, lizards, Goannas and crocodiles are just some of the many species which inhabit Australia. The brilliant colors of Australia's native flowers are world famous. The national colors of green and gold come from the wattle, but the elegant form and colors of other plants and flowers found across the country, nurtured in wildly different climatic conditions, leave a breathtaking memory for all our visitors. The koala, a small furry animal indigenous to Australia and often referred to as a bear, the koala is perhaps the most loved of all of Australia's native animals. Koala is an indigenous Australian word meaning does not drink, an appropriate name for an animal that derives most of the moisture it needs from its only diet, eucalyptus leaves. It is a marsupial, the mother suckling her newborn in her pouch for about seven months after birth. 
than carrying her young on her back until maturity. It is a nocturnal animal, sleeping during the day in a tree where it is able to grasp the branches firmly with its long toes. Kangaroos and Wallabies. The kangaroo, one of the symbols of Australia, is one of the world's largest living marsupials. Some 50 species exist in Australia. The smallest, the rat kangaroo, is only 30 centimeters long. The largest, the big red kangaroo, which can grow to two meters tall and weigh almost 90 kilograms, can bound along at 50 kilometers per hour, covering up to nine meters in each leap. The wallaby members of the kangaroo family are generally smaller and in some cases have brighter coat colorings. Possums and marsupial meat eaters. Possums, another family of Australian marsupials, are nocturnal tree dwellers and are known for their acrobatic feats. Their long tails, used to grip tree branches, are also used as rudders by those species which are able to glide from tree to tree. Their diet is primarily insects, leaves, blossoms, and nectar. Also in the marsupial range are the meat eaters such as the Tasmanian devil. This is the common ringtail possum. And here is the brush tail possum. This is the Tasmanian Devil. The Reptiles of Australia. Australia's variety of reptiles is no doubt plentiful, with 300 species of lizards, 140 species of snakes, two kinds of crocodiles, and several varieties of turtles and tortoises. Many of these animals have relatives in South America and Asia. Some, however, such as the legless lizards, are unique to Australia. This is the common bearded dragon. Here is the king brown snake, the copperhead snake, the tiger snake. This is a lace monitor. Here is an eastern water dragon, saltwater crocodiles, and freshwater crocodiles. This is the forest wombat. Parrots and owls. The parrot family is well represented in Australia. Beautiful, colorful, but noisy. These birds, which range from the large sulfur-crested cockatoos to small budgerigars, plus galas, rosellas, and lorikeets are found throughout the country. Amongst the nocturnal birds, the boobook and the masked owls are representatives of the two owl families found in Australia, Ninox and Tido. The boobook is the most commonly found. This is the masked owl. Here is the sulfur crested cockatoo. This is the boo book owl. The eastern rosella. And the brilliant crimson rosella. Australian water birds. Australia is home to some 600 species of water birds, most of which dwell on the coast in keeping with most of the human population, although many thrive inland around rivers, lakes, and swamps. One of the most beautiful birds, the black swan, originally unique to Australia, is found throughout the continent. The bird with the blue and black feathers is the swamp hen. The bird that's grayish white is the brulga. Here are black swans and their babies called cygnets. Here is a group of pelicans. These are fairy penguins. 
flowers of Australia. The diversity of plants and flowers found in Australia is without parallel in any other country. The wide range of climatic types encompassed by the Australian continent not only fosters the growth of thousands of unique Australian wildflowers, but also allows most of the world's great flowers to be grown in some part of the land. Here is the Kutamundra wattle. This is a coral tree. These are snow daisies. This flower is called the warta. Uniquely Australian wildlife. Australia boasts some of the most interesting and rare wildlife of any country in the world. The echidna and platypus are the world's only surviving monotremes, or egg-laying mammals. The echidna is a small mammal, 35 to 53 centimeters long, covered with sharp spines on its back and sides. The platypus is found in the rivers and streams of eastern Australia, 44 to 50 centimeters long with a furry coat, a muzzle like a duck's bill, and a tail like a beaver. The emu is a large flightless bird capable of running at 50 kilometers per hour. It is found throughout mainland Australia. The dingo, the only wild member of the dog family in Australia. The long-eared bat, the only mammals that can truly fly. And the kookaburra, famous for its ruckus laugh that has made it one of Australia's best known and loved birds. Here is the echidna but it's also called the spiny anteater. Here is the lesser long-eared bat. This is the emu next to a nest. And here is the colorful peacock. This wild dog is called a dingo. Here is the kookaburra. This animal is called the platypus. And here you will see a map of Australia. And these red lines are all of the roads and highways that connect much of the country. Thank you for joining us today, friends, and learning a little bit about the unique wildlife, flowers, and plants that are native to Australia and are often not found anywhere else in the world. Now, we've done our calendar, we've checked our weather, and we've learned a little few things today about Australia. Time for our activities. Thank you for joining, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye!